Oh, hey, I didn't realize y'all had joined me here to range today. Today we're going to be talking about another gun from the past. So y'all stay tuned. glad y'all come back to see us again like you like you saw in a little pre-intro there that we're talking about a guns from the past today today we have the Howells uh, firearms company yeah make sure I said that right it was that was the importer but it's a JP Sauer and Son Western Marshall revolver <clears throat> and the revolver it like I said was made in Germany and it's called the Western Marshall chamber in 357 Magnum they were imported by the Howells Firearm Company. The J.P. Sauer and Son Company was actually started about 1751 in Germany by Lorenz Sauer, and it's the oldest, rec oldest recorded firearms manufacturer in Germany. And they made handguns and rifles. <clears throat> now, in 1840, is when they actually trademarked the name J.P. Sauer and Son, and they made a military arms and some luxurious double-barrel muskets. Now, in uh, 1972, they sold uh, the hunting arms part to the SIG Arms Company, which is the uh, Schweitzner or Schweitzenrich Industry uh, Jalakschlacht or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> My German's not good, but that's why they call it SIG for the S-I-G, you know. Uh, some of the firearms were produced under the SIG Sire name, but it appears that J.P. Sauer and Company or J.P. Sauer and Son are still in business in Germany today producing rifles and shotguns. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk a little bit more about the gun itself. Now, you can see it's clear. Okay, it's a six shot single action revolver. And it's a direct clone of the 1873 Colt single action army. So it uh, was produced in the late 1960s to the, through the 1970s. And they produced this in 357, which this is, and also produced it in 45 Colt. It says 45 ACP. I guess the 45 Colt and ACP went together. 44 Magnum, 22 Long Rifle, and 22 Magnum. And it was, it's made of alloy steel with an aluminum grip frame and ejector rod. Okay, it has a frame-mounted firing pin, but no transfer bar, exactly like the Colt Single Action Army. Therefore, it's to be carried with five in the chamber. Even though it's a six-shot revolver, you do not want to carry one under the firing pin when it's loaded. I'll show you how to load it in just a minute. Because, let me take this apart here. I dropped the cylinder out, and as you can see, when the firearm is rest or when the firing pin is resting, you can see the firing pin right there is sticking out past the breech face. Right there. So if you had a loaded, if you had a round, that would be sitting on the primer. So if you bump it, sneeze on it, drop it, you know, hit the back of the hammer or anything, it could go off. So it's made to be carried with five in the chamber, just like the Colt single action army. And that also, that issue has brought some lawsuits to the J.P. Sauer and Son and the uh, Howell Farm Company over that safety issue. All right, well, I think that's all the history. Let's do a little more shooting of it, and I'll show you how to load it. If you've made this point of the video with us, how about hitting that um, subscribe button to become part of the R4 Mississippi Thunder community? Or also, hit that thumbs up, maybe even thumbs down if you, if you feel like it. Either one helps us in the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell for notification of future content. Also, we are, are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We post over there. You can find those links in the um, About page on the YouTube channel here. Also, 
down below in the de uh, description you'll find a link to our website a couple affiliate links and if you feel so inclined there is a link to patreon down there so let's get back to the video okay uh one thing i did want to mention has texturing on the hammer smooth back strap wood grips and it has this these little fixed notch here with a fixed blade sight on the front I painted a little green on there just to help it pick up a little better. All right, so it's got the loading gate. Let's see this single action. You cock it back twice. That way the cylinder spins freely. But what you do with these that don't have the transfer bar is you load one and you skip one. That way when you get to it, it'll be an empty chamber under the firing pan. So then you load your other four. You load that last one. You cock it back and you lay it down and that's the empty cylinder under that firing pin. Let's do a little shooting with her again. Oh, missed that one. That one. Oh, that was five. Alright, let's try to hit that hard where I missed it a while ago. Oh yeah. Got it that time. Uh oh. Oh, and that was the last one in. Okay. And just to unload these. Just to unload these, you pull the hammer back two clicks and drop them out. Okay, well there you have it. This is the uh, JP Sour and Son. Western Marshall, imported by Howells firearm company and I, I know uh, I'm probably not the best at enunciating all those names and saying them correctly but that's the way I interpret them and I'm glad y'all came out to the range today now this firearm it was in my first video my first my YouTube premiere um, featured this firearm and I did make a mistake of saying that they did merge with SIG which I only had part of the company was with SIG and that gun this particular farm was actually made by J.P. Sauer and Son and not the SIG company. But anyway, um, I want y'all to check out my first video and I'll leave a link to it in one of the little cards up above my head here. Thank you for tuning in to Awful Mississippi Thunder. Come back to see us again and God bless America.